Good morning! I'm so glad that you're here today. Um, if you've been following along at all, you know that we are in the book of Acts. And now we're on Acts chapter 7 today. So, getting right into it, Stephen is standing before the Sanhedrin. He's just had all these false accusations made against him. False testimony has been given. Um, and now he has his chance to speak. So Stephen starts to detail all the ways in history that the Israelites have turned away from God. When he's shown up for them and offered them a way out, he's shown up for them in a huge way and they have chosen to go a different way. And at the end of his speech, he equates that with the Sanhedrin and says, you are doing the same thing. God has sent his son to you and you are turning away who he is, you're turning your back on God. This obviously incites some huge anger uh, within the Sanhedrin that people can't even stand it. They're covering their ears, they're yelling, um, and they take Stephen out of the city to stone him. So as this is happening, at the very end of the chapter, the thing that really stood out to me was that um, verse 59 that says, while they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Verse 60, then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he fell asleep. And what I just thought was so powerful about that is that he has spent this entire time going up against the Sanhedrin, saying, no, this is what truth is. Even though they refuse to hear it, even though they're choosing not to believe a word that he's saying, he still is standing on the truth. And at the very end, he is praying and asking God to receive his spirit. He's calling out to Jesus. And he also asks for grace on those who have been stoning him. And I just thought that was so powerful this morning. Um, as I was just thinking about it and letting that really soak into my spirit, that even though we might be persecuted, even though people might not understand where we're coming from, they might not even believe the truth that we are speaking, that even in that, showing grace is so powerful. Showing grace to people that are hard to love is so powerful. And so today I just wanna encourage you and affirm you that um, there may be times where you feel persecuted, misunderstood, unheard, and even in those times know that God is with you and even how he caused Stephen to fall asleep. And so he didn't, he was probably in a lot of pain when he was being stoned, but at the very end, Jesus caused him to fall into a sleep, which feels really peaceful to me. So I just wanna encourage you today, as you go about your day, to just really read that chapter. Um, let God speak to your heart about it. But I really wanna pray with you right now. God, we just thank you for your word Lord, and how it never returns void. God, in every circumstance, every, every season of our lives, Lord, that your word, when it's planted in our hearts, God, grows and flourishes. Father, your promises are always true. And so, Lord, today we just lean into that, and we trust you, and we know that you love us and that you are working all things together for good. We love you. In your name we pray, amen. Have a great day, guys. See you next time.